Listen, the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, out with the old, in with the new. So come receive your new life, because Jesus is here. Let's go. Come on in. When your life begins, you're welcome. We welcome you. You're welcome here. Come on in. When your life begins, you're welcome. Come on. Come you're on. Welcome.
say praise God. We thank God for the praise team. Thank God for the, the song on the day, for lifting our spirits up on the day. Amen? Amen? We thank God for those that are here, for those that are on the way. We ask and also for our streaming audience. We ask you to come out and be with us sometime. We'll be glad to have you. And we promise you, you will not be disappointed in our service. Amen? Amen. At this time, we have to our own sister Ewing as she comes up to the scripture reading, followed by, by our own sister, sister Ann Johnson for their number. Let's say Amen. The anointing is in the building, just in case you didn't know. Amen? Amen. I am reading to you Ezekiel 36, the 27 through the 28. And it reads, And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statue. And ye shall keep my commandments and do them. And ye shall dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers, and ye shall be my people, and I will be your God. And the word of God is blessed. Amen? Amen. Good morning, good morning, new life. Good morning. I'd like to thank all you guys for coming this morning. We'd like to also thank our streaming audience for joining us on today via Facebook or YouTube. Is there anyone here visiting for the very first time? Please raise your hand. Well, New Life, give yourselves a hand. 
And if there's anyone on our streaming audience that has joined us for the very first time, please drop a note in the chat. You can visit our website, which is nlpkojic.org for the listing of our services of the week. The announcements uh, for the prayer list is Mother Addie Burnett, Bessie Brown, Mother Connie Jones, Missionary Sherry Thompson, Sisters Mikey Grays and Terry Pierce, Elder Ted Burnett, Deacon Jesse Winters, and Deacon Je uh, Charlie Hoskins. Also, we have in the house with us this morning that we're still praying for Deacon Westbrook. Thank God for you being out this morning, this Deacon Westbrook. Please let us know if we have missed anyone because we do not wish to do that and so we can get them on the prayer list and, and uh, call their names out as well. We would like to acknowledge birthdays for the past week. Missionary Jo Ann Goss, she's not in presence today, but we are remembering her. But on this past Thursday, April the 11th, where our own mother, Desi Brown, made 91 years old. Praise God for your life. Praise God. Praise God. We'd like to thank you for your presence on this morning. It is indeed a blessing. The Mission of Hope will be selling chili and hot dogs today immediately after service, and all the proceeds will go to the building fund. You need further information, you may see Sister Lowe. The Singleness of Heart Ministry is meeting this coming Saturday, April the 20th at 12 o'clock noon. For more information, you can see Vicki Clark. The, in, the Life Enrichment and Development Center is sponsoring financial literacy, purchasing affordable housing on Saturday, April the 27th. You can see Sister Kathy Anderson for further information. The 46th year church anniversary banquet is Saturday, May 4th. It is fastly approaching. It's in Orland Park at the Orland Chateau. If you have not purchased your tickets, you can still do so. You still have time. We would like to take a moment right now to greet our sisters and brothers. Those of you that do not mind, please stand with me. Hug a neighbor. Tell them you love them. Join me right now. Those that do not mind.
those sanctified hands? Is he your everything? Give the Lord to pray. Is he your everything? Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Oh, bless his name. I want you to do something with me. I know that God is your everything need for you to identify that one thing he is. Well, what are you talking about, Brother Preacher? I can give you an example. Last week, my father and I, we went down to Memphis, Tennessee for the Kojic Spring Call Meeting. We were in a brand new Jeep Grand Cherokee, and it was just floating, Elder Haynes. And every now and then, I drove down there, Dad drove back. Every now and then, you looked at the odometer and it was up to 90 miles an hour and you had to pull it back. So if I had to talk about God he is, one of the things that I can say, God is a keeper. Oh, y'all don't hear me on this morning. So I need to get that one thing in your mind and look at your neighbor and just tell them, give them a testimony what God is to you. Hey. All right, that was all right, that was all right. Oh, that's all right. Maybe they didn't understand the significance of it. I need you to look at the other person sitting on the other side and tell them what God is to you. Now, after you have told God that, does anybody have a reason to give God some praise? I heard out there some people said he's a keeper. Some people said that he's a healer. Some people said that he's a deliverer. Some people said that he's a way maker. So what I need for you to do, whatever you said that he is, I need you to put that in the front of you. And I need for you just for a couple of seconds to give God some praise. If he's that keeper, praise him like he's a keeper. If he's that deliverer, praise him like he's a deliverer. If he's that healer, praise him like he's a deliverer. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, come on, praise him. Come on, let's clap those sanctified hands. Oh, 
Now, I spent 21 years in the academic setting. And one of the highlights was at the end of the year when the students were getting ready to graduate. And depending on what their GPA was, they either was cum laude, magna cum laude, or summa cum laude. Now, what you just gave me when we started off was a cum laude praise. Then you elevated it to a, a magnum cum laude praise. But now what I need for you to give God is the highest praise, the summa cum laude praise. So just look at your neighbor and say, if you don't have a praise, let me praise him for you. Come on, praise him. Give him praise. Uh, let's magnify his holy name. This is the day that the Lord has made. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt his name together. Oh, bless his name. You may take your seat if you can. Oh, bless his name. For some of us, amen, the praise and magnifying God has become a formality but when you understand what God has really did for you what it took for to wake you up this morning in your right mind with all the activities of your limb it did not just happen by chance but oh by the grace and the mercy of God come on let's give the Lord a hand praise one more time amen we certainly thank God for each and every one of you on today, whether this afternoon, whether you are joining us in person or on the stream, this is the New Life Pentecostal Church of God in Christ, the Church of Faith, Fellowship, and Love. Amen. And we certainly thank God for the Spirit of the Lord moving in in this place. I don't know about you, but I look forward to coming together with the saints on Sunday mornings. Amen. Just to thank God. Amen. I'm encouraged. Amen. Through your praise, I'm encouraged. Amen. Through your responses. Amen. Because if God has kept you and if God has brought you through, amen, I know I serve a God that's not a respected person. And if he did it for you, amen, he can do it for me. Amen. That's the kind of God that we serve. We've reached that part of the service that everyone can participate. And that is in your tithes and your offering. Amen. And we're going to ask that you continue just to give. Amen. Give faithfully. I thank God, amen. I've just been really reading in Malachi, one of the things that it talk about in Malachi, amen, that says that God will, amen, rebuke the devourer for your sake, amen, when you give your tithes and your offering. And a lot of people, people don't understand what that means, amen. Back in the Israelite time, amen, they would give their tithes, amen, so that God would rebuke the devourer, which was the locust, the canker worm, the palmer worm, amen, and it was one more worm, that was in there. Amen. And these were these little buds that will eat up their crop. And just like today, amen, I thank God when I give my tithes and my offering. Amen. The Bible says that he will rebuke it not for his sake, but he'll rebuke it for, for my sake. Amen. So that, amen, those car accidents, amen, those car repair um, jobs won't happen as much as they happen. Amen. There's been time, amen, where I would help back from God and it seems like, oh, hell break out. Amen. But when I give my tithes and my offering, amen, God just blesses me. And one thing about my God, amen, he just doesn't look at the present, Veronica. He looks into the future. Amen. And have you ever had that situation, amen, where 
You had something that happened, and then all of a sudden, money comes out of, out of nowhere. Amen. And you say, well, Lord, it would have been nice, amen, just to have this for spending money. Amen. He said, you better thank God that I gave it to you so you can repair that car. You're investing, amen, into the kingdom. And when you invest into the kingdom, nobody in this room can, can beat the return of God. Amen. Nobody can beat his return. Amen. So we're just going to ask you, amen, continue to be obedient, amen, in your tithes and your offering. Amen. One thing that I can say about New Life Pentecostal Church of God in Christ, amen, that we tithe, amen, and we tithe and we give offering because we understand, amen, that it's not about Bishop Jones. It's not about Pastor Jones. It's not about First Lady Jones or Lady Lolita Jones, amen, but it's about kingdom work. And anything that you plant, amen, into, amen, this fertile, fertile ground, amen, we use it for ministry because it's not just about the people that's in the seat, but it's about what reaching beyond the walls, amen, so that we can be that light in the city of Harvey. I don't know about you. I'm just big and bold enough to believe out of cheers, amen, that new life is going to get to a point when they think, amen, about Harvey. They're going to think about Bishop Leroy Jones. Oh, y'all don't hear, you know, you got some churches when they think about a particular area, a church come to mind. I'm just big and bold enough to believe, amen, Sister Murray, amen, that when they talk about missions in a particular area, amen, they're going to think about New Life Pentecostal Church of God in Christ. And the only way, amen, that that is possible is through what? Through you giving your tithes and your offerings. I don't know if the urchins have already come. Have they passed out the tied envelopes? Oh, they have. Amen. They keep getting ahead of me here. Amen. Everybody got their tied envelopes. Amen. Um, also, amen, you can give, amen, on, by stream. Um, for those, of, those that's um, not here with us, but even those who are in person, amen, you can give via push pay. You can go to our website, amen, at nlpkojic.org. You can give via PayPal or Cash App. And if none of those, amen, work for you, Amen. You can also, amen, just mail it to us at 148 East, 155th Street in Harvey, Illinois. And we will be sure, amen, to receive, amen, your offering. Just want to reiterate, in a couple of weeks, we'll be celebrating, amen, the church anniversary of the New Life Pentecostal Church of God in Christ. Oh, let me, let me say, well, let me do this. Let, let me do it this, let me do it this way. Amen. The New Life Pentecostal Church of God in Christ was established in May of 1978. Amen. And in May of 2024, we're going to be celebrating, amen, the church anniversary of the New Life Pentecostal Church of God in Christ. Amen. Amen. We're just not a pass by, amen. Amen. We've been around, but that's because, amen, of Bishop and First Lady Jones building a very strong foundation and being a blessing to so many. So we're going to ask you that if you have not purchase your ticket, please, please do so. Amen. That's going toward the building fund so they would continue to do work, amen, around the building. Also, it was also mentioned that uh, Mission of Hope, amen, right after service as a fundraiser building fund, all of that goes, amen, all of that goes, amen, to our building fund, amen. And I understand they're going to be doing chili and chili dogs and selling cakes and some other things. And, and I was talking with Sister Lone yesterday, and she said, well, you know, we can sell chips and cakes and um, soda, too. And I said, now, you, you leave that alone. That's what the vending machine is for. Amen. Amen. The vending machine picks up all that. You concentrate on the chili dogs and the hot dogs and, and the cakes. But if y'all need a soda and some chips, there's a vending machine over there. Amen. Operational 24-7. Even except, amen, credit cards, debit cards, Google Pay, all the other kind of pays. Amen. All for your, all for your convenience. But on a serious matter. Amen. Please, please, we ask, amen, that you purchase the ticket, just $100, amen, for the building fund, for the banquet, so we can come just celebrate, amen, the life and the legacy of the new life, Pentecostal Church of God in Christ. If you would bow your head as we bless the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for another opportunity to give. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your word, Lord, that you will stop the enemy, amen, from eating up our increase when he comes, amen, with all kind of negative spiritual forces. Lord, we stand on your word. You continue to bless us, not only financially, but, Lord, in our health, Lord, with our strength, Lord, in our families, in our relationships. Your blessings, Lord, are just, just multi and just overflowing. And, Lord, we'll give you all the praise and the honor. And, Lord, and we give you our tithes 
and an offering in anticipation of what you're going to do. In your blessed name we pray. Let everybody say amen. Back in the hands at this time, amen of the Quran.
afternoon, everyone. Oh, did nobody speak back? Good afternoon. That's a little bit better. We thank God for each and every one of you that's out there. Amen. We just praise God. It's God to be here. It's God to be in the, in the it's good to be in the land of the living. Amen. We just thank God for our bishop and pastor being back. Amen. They went to Memphis and they had a safe trip and they back. Amen. So now it's time for the word. Amen. The word of God. And I believe the Bible says, how can they preach except they be sent? Amen. So we got a man here that I do believe that God sent him. I believe he's a God sent man. And he's going to give us a word on today. How many know that we need a word? Amen. We need a word. Amen. Because right now we live in dangerous times. Amen. I don't know. I know some of y'all don't pay attention to the news. But whatever happened to Israel, amen, affects us. Amen. Amen. What affects Israel affects us. You know, they were hit with over, over 100 missiles and things last night. Amen. So we don't know what the outcome going to be for that. Amen. But our pastor has a word for us. Amen. So we, not, not only just good, solid teaching. Amen. He's not up here to try to beg you for your money and all that kind of stuff. Amen. We do know that's part of the church sometimes. But he's here to feed us. Amen. How many of y'all want to be fed? Amen. Amen. We need to be fed. Amen. Because we're, we're sheep. Amen. And sheep have to be fed. Sheep have to be led. Amen. So he's our leader. Amen. And we have to follow our leader. Amen. And we just praise God for him. And we thank God for him. And amen. And our Samaritan solos today is going to be the one and only uh, Marion Johnson. Amen. And after she sit down, amen. Our bishop will be coming up. And we ask that you stand for him. Amen. When he come up. Amen. Amen.
Let's sing that song together. Amen. What God has for me, it is what for me. It is for me. Come on, give God a praise. Amen. Come on, give God a praise. I know you're waiting, but give God a praise. I know he's going to do it, but give God a praise. What God has for you, it's for you. Ain't no devil to hell stop it. It is for you. You may be seated. Thank you, sister. Excellent song. What God has for me. It is for me. And what God has for you, it is for you. So good to see you once again. Amen. Any special visitors with us on the day? Amen. Any special visitors with us on the day? Amen. So good. We got a brother that been on vacation. I hadn't seen him in a month, but so good to see him. Praise God. I think his name was, um, who was that, Ella? Uh, Who's that? Oh, that's, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, let's give a hand. So good to see him. Come on. So good to see him. Amen. Good brother. Good brother. God bless you, my brother, sitting there. So good to see you. Say good to see you. Look at somebody next to you and say, good just to see you. One more time. Come on, one more time. Good to see you in the house of God. Amen. Love you all. Love you all. Love you all. Now, Dr. Jones was talking about me and him were driving to Memphis. Now, the 90 miles an hour was not me now. That was not my feet, say, man. He got the feet mixed up. I think that was him, amen, <laughs> doing that while I was asleep, praise the Lord. <laughs> but thank God for Dr. Jones, amen, carried us down there safely, amen, good trip. Amen. A good meeting. We enjoyed ourselves, me, him, and Pastor uh, Harris. Amen. Pastor Harris down the street there. Especially want you to pray for him. He slowly sight is uh, about gone, and he's praying, asking saints to pray for him. Amen. But it was a delight uh, to be with him, and it was a delight just to help somebody else. Amen. Who really can't, amen, see everything, can't see how to go down the steps, can't see how to go here. Amen. But just for the delight, amen, to help somebody, amen, less fortunate than you are. Amen. I certainly did enjoy it. And good company, good company. So we enjoyed our trip. Amen. And we just enjoyed one another. And we thank God for each one of you that prayed for us while we were uh, there in Memphis, Tennessee. Amen. A good, real, real, real good trip. Good to see Brother Westbrook on the day. Let's say amen for him. So good to see you. Amen. Good brother, good brother, good brother. Let's look at our scripture for the day. Hey, thank God for my wife. Amen, amen. God, good to see her. She's looking better and better. Amen. Amen, amen. Looking better and better. God bless her. Praise the Lord. Hey, when she look better, make me look better. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, ooh, Sister Jones, hey, you sure look so good. I say, yeah, she do, but it take a good frame to bring it out, you know. <laughs> Amen. God bless her. Good wife. Good wife. Amen. Look at this scripture in Matthew 24, 10 to 11. Amen. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure it until the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel 
of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Tell somebody you got to endure. You got to endure. To the end. To the end. Come on, so you got to endure. You got to endure. To the end. To the end. Amen. You got to endure to the end. Enduring to the end means in whatsoever state yes. that you're in. And doing to the end mean in whatever your situation may be, you got to endure. And doing to the end mean that whatever condition that you may be going through, you got to have a mind to endure to the end. Matter of fact, if you does not endure to the end, you cannot inherit the thing that God has for you because God only give it out at the end. So you got to endure. Enduring to the end means remaining faithful to the end. You got to remain faithful to God if you're going to endure to the end. A lot of people want to endure to the end. Amen. Say they want to endure to the end, but they don't do what it takes to endure for the end. First of all, you got to realize that serving God is not an easy thing. Amen. Serving God is no picnic. Amen. In the park. Things will happen unto you in life as you serve God. Satan will bring things up against you to make you give up and don't make it to the end. And if you don't make it to the end, you can't make it. There was a, there was a person in the Bible by the name of Demas, Demetrius, I think his name was. And he was one of the Paul men that worked with Paul. And Paul wrote a letter saying, Demetrius had forsaken me. Amen. Loving the present world. Demetrius was the servant of God. Demetrius was a preacher of God. But then he looked back at the world and looked at, and looked and got lost. He left God for temporary thrills. He left God for temporary things. Amen. He missed out because he was not willing to endure to the end. You that are believers, you got to make your mind up. You got to make your mind up. The other song they had, my mind is made up and my heart is fixed. I'm going to serve God. And if you does not have a mind whereby your heart is made up and your mind is fixed, You'll miss out on what God has for you. Well, pastor, what am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? I must tell you, I don't know what you're missing. I don't know. I don't know. When you get to heaven, I don't know what you're missing. But I do know this. The Bible said, I haven't seen nor you heard the things that God has in store for the ones that didn't do it to the end. That's, that's what make me keep on pressing on because I want to see what he has in store for me. But I haven't seen it. It is beyond our imagination. It's beyond our thoughts. What God has prepared for the one that endure to the end. Hold on, beloveds, to the end. We're living in some treacherous times now. But I still believe that God is yet talking to us. Too many things are taking place. We was on our way to Memphis and I saw so many cars going to see the eclipse. I think I got that word right. They were going to see the eclipse. And, and I, I didn't see it. I, I, I looked, but I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I didn't see it. Well, pastor, why did you not see the eclipse? Because I'm going further than the eclipse. <laughs> That's why, praise the Lord, I'm going much further than the eclipse. I may be walking on top of the eclipse for it over with. <laughs> Hello, somebody, amen. But the eclipse is God's way of speaking to mankind. The eclipse is God's way of trying to get our attention to let us know it's not over here. It's just part of what I'm trying to show you the eclipse. 
Amen. So you got to endure to the end if you're going to make it to the end. And if, if you don't, if you cannot endure to the end, you can't make it. That's another fella. He had it made. He made his name was already written. He was on his way to heaven. On his way to heaven, but he got it mixed up. Maybe some of y'all know him. Maybe some of y'all are his friend. His name is Judas. He got mixed up, praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. He had it made. He was one of God's disciples. He was one of the apostles. He had it made. Already had it made. All he had to do is sit there and wait it out. Glory to God. But no. Amen. He sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. What is your selling price? What is your selling price? What, what, what are you going to sell him for? What are you going to give him up for? 30 pieces of silver only bought a graveyard to bury him in. <laughs> you don't want to hear me this morning. Hmm? You got to endure. You got to endure. You got to endure until the end. And if you don't endure to the end, you cannot make it. But you got to make your mind up. He said, he that endures until the end shall be saved. People that get in and out can't be saved. People that save the day and lost tomorrow can't make it to the end. But you got to fix your eyes on the cross. You got to fix your eyes on the thing of God. You can endure it to the end. Amen. Enduring, enduring, enduring. Remember. Amen. If you're going to endure to the end, how do you endure to the end? You got to do some things. There's some things that you got to do to make it to the end. What, 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 what do I have to do, Pastor? First of all, you got to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray. You got to pray. Amen. And if you do not pray, you lose your connection with God. And when you lose your connection with God, Amen. You lose out with God because that break, that fellowship that you and God have. Amen. But when you pray, it helps you to go a little further. When you pray, it helps you to hold on a little longer. When you pray, it helps you to reach out to God. So you got to pray. You got to, I mean, real prayer. Real prayer. Real prayer. Real prayer. You just can't get up and just pray any time like you want to pray. Oh, help of the Lord. And the next thing, if you want to endure to the end, you got to do something. They call F-A-S-T. I think I, I think I got that word right. It, huh? It didn't talk about fast moving now. He didn't talk about driving fast like Dr. Jones did. He didn't talk about that fast. No, 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 no. He ain't talking about that. But you got the fast. And when what do a what do a fast mean? A fast mean that you that you got to push your plate back. You know what 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 really bothers me uh, about fasting and, and the saints tell me that they can't fast. Uh, I heard that. I got to go to the doctor's office for a scan. Ain't nothing wrong with me, but they want to scan me. And, and then she called and told me, said, now when you go in there, you, you can't fast. You can't eat this. You can't eat that. You can't eat that. You can't eat this. But well, she's talking to me, <laughs> an 80-year-old man, and tell him he got to fast. Well, is this 80-year-old man going to fast? Just as sure as he's going, he's going to fast. <laughs> Come on, let me, let me, let me, you ain't hearing what I'm saying. <laughs> if the doctor can say fast, you can fast. But if Jesus say every now and then, fast. If Jesus say every now and then, push your plate back. If Jesus say every now and then, if you want the power of God to be activated in your life, you got to fast. People are talking about God does not move like he used to move. That's what they're saying. But last time I read the word, he said, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, the same today, and the same forevermore. Jesus don't change. Glory to God. We may change, but he don't change. What he said yesterday, he's saying it tomorrow. What he said yesterday, he's saying today. Push your plate back sometime. Oh, 
Oh, help us, Lord. You got the fans. You got the fans. You got the fans. And then you got to read the word of God. You got to get into this book. You got to study this book. You got to read it, not just every now and then. You got to read it as much as read look at TV. Oh, boy, they kind of quiet here. Praise the Lord. You got to read it just that much. You got to know this book. You got to know this book. You got to know when somebody says something. You say, oh, no, that don't sound right. I'll be back. I got to check this out. Now, you want to stay in there? You got to pray. You got to fast. You got to read. And then that way is how you get an anchor. You now get an anchor in God. You now get a hope to God because what well, you connect it. And when you connect it, nothing can stop you. Hey, glory to God. We had a member of our church years ago, and she was preaching a sermon. My wife remembered it. And she said, connect it, <laughs> but down. And she was talking about trees, I think, in a yard or something. Had, the wind had came through. The storm had came through and knocked that tree down. But it didn't disconnect it from Edison. <laughs> Glory to God. And you can be down and still connect it. You can be going through a different time in your life and still be connected. You can be hurting in tears in your eye and still be connected to God. Just cause you're down, God don't let keep that let you stay down. He'll go down there with you and keep you connected. How many of y'all are connected today? How many of y'all are connected to the source? How many of y'all are connected to the power? How many of y'all are connected to the Father? Connected to the Son? Connected. And when you connect it, the juice still running. When you connect it, the fire still there. When you connect it, hey, glory to God. You still got the power of God. How many of y'all connect it? Connect it while you hurt it. Connect it while you're crying. Connect it when you don't understand. Connect it when you're going through. I'm connected. Oh, help us, Lord, huh? You got to endure. You got to endure. There's some things you just got to endure. Matter of fact, life, you just don't endure because you're Christian. But when you live in a world, you got to endure some things. You got to endure. Amen. You got to do. <laughs> you got to do in losing a job. Are you really what? Connected, connected, connected. With well, the last point I want to bring out, not because I'm quitting. I ain't going to quit yet. Praise the Lord. The last point I want to bring out. Amen. What you do, you got to have fellowship. You got to have fellowship. Amen. You, 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 you really, you really can't be just always connected to God if you don't have fellowship with one another. Glory to God. We wonder what, what taking place. We don't have fellowship with one another. You need fellowship. The Bible says, amen, some had forsaken the house of God. We don't have fellowship, but we talk about everybody else. We talk to everybody else. We go to job and have fellowship. We go to the baseball and have fellowship. We go to the park and have fellowship. But when it comes to the house of God, sit down and talk with the saints of God. Do you have fellowship? You got to have fellowship with one another. With one another, brother, with brother, sister, with sister, members, with members, fellowshipping together, fellowshipping together. Go with it, God. Oh, y'all kind of quiet on me, amen. He that endures to the end shall be saved. Endure me what? Continuing on. Enduring me no matter what hit me. No, in doing me, no matter what take place in my life, I'm going to continue on. In doing me, no matter who lie on me, who talk about me, who say this about me, I'm going to endure on. That's what endure me. Despite my hardships, despite my tests, despite my trials, despite my hurts, I'm going to endure on. That's what endure me. Endure me ain't nothing going to stop me I'm going to stop you <laughs> amen sound good but you're going to push me off the ship <laughs> somebody say amen around here 
Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, continue on. You got to have a maid of mine. Live or die. Sink or swim. I'm here. <laughs> I made my mind up what? I'm not going back. Huh? My mind made up. <laughs> Look what he brought you from. <laughs> Look what he brought you out of. <laughs> Look what he have done for you. <laughs> Pick you up. <laughs> Turn your life around. <laughs> Put joy in your soul. <laughs> Put peace in your mind. <laughs> Look what he done for you. <laughs> press on. <laughs> Tell somebody, I said, press on. <laughs> Come on, say, press on. <laughs> press on. <laughs> endure. Endure. In this life, see, mean that you may feel like sometimes wanting to give up. Glory to God. Who I know y'all got quiet. Y'all sanctified folks. Y'all from the Pentecostal church. But I'm from the church of real life. Sometimes, sometimes things in life can hit you. Sometimes things in life can happen unto you. Until you look around and wonder, where's God? Sometime when you are down and hurting, there's nobody there to comfort your heart. Nobody to pick you up until you go a little further. You feel like giving up. You feel like throwing the towel in. You feel like turning your back on God. But I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Don't give in. Just hold on a little while longer. Hold on a little bit longer. Help is on the way. Help is about to come. Help is coming down your avenue. Just hold on. Don't give in. Don't give up. Amen. Just press on. Just a little bit further. Just press on. I heard the late Ella Richard Hinton preach a sermon one time. In the sermon, he said that there was a man that brought, brought a man, uh, a gold mine. And when he bought the gold mine, he was happy. He kept that gold mine in digging, amen, for so many years. And after so many years, nothing really happened. So he in the process of that, uh, people around him getting their gold, but he wasn't getting anything. So he made up his mind, I'm going to sell this mine. I'm going to give this mine up because it ain't doing nothing for me. I done spent all my money trying to make this mine work. But this mine is not working. He took and got somebody to buy the mine. The man bought the mine and went out there. Amen. I did a few days and he started digging. Went about three feet and hit gold. Glory to God. I'm trying to tell somebody here, you just three feet away. Keep on digging. Glory to God. The blessing that you want from God. The thing that you are desiring for God to do for you. Just dig a little longer. Just pray a little longer. Just fast a little longer. Just press a little longer. Your blessing is right there. Don't give up. I don't care how it may look. I don't care how it may seem. Don't give up. Don't give in. Put your soul. Press a little further. Press till the blessing come. Press till you feel God's power. Press till you feel a move of God. Press. Woo. Hallelujah. Just press on. Just press on. Well, Ella Joan, why am I pressing? Why am I pressing? What reason do I have to press from the way I feel? Every time you, you really go down, you got to go here. Because here has your answer. The answer here. Well, what answer do you have for me, Ella Joan? When I was going through some one time, I looked in here and I found something said, Weeping may endure for a night. Weeping may endure for a while. Yes, there's going to come times you're going to weep. There's going to come times you're going to cry. There's going to come time you gonna you don't understand why me. <laughs> why 
am I having this hardship? Why me? Why am I feeling so depressed? Why am I feeling so lonely? Why don't I have a job? Why don't nobody seem like they love me? And you go in your room and you weep and you cry. But let me tell you something, weeping may endure for a night. It's nighttime. And when nighttime comes, it's dark. Night uh, bring darkness. Night uh, bring sadness. Oh, glory to God. I remember when I was in the hospital. I was in the room all by myself. I told my wife, you going home. I'll be all right. But around 12 o'clock that night, night got long. The longer I waited, the longer the night got. But I went to the window and pulled the curtain back and said, if I just can make it to tomorrow, I'll be all right. In the morning, in the morning, I pulled the shade back. What did I see? I saw the sun rising. I made it another day. I made it a little fella. Yay! Weeping me endure for the night. But on the morrow, joy gonna come. Joy in your test. Joy in your trial. Joy in your sickness. Joy in your hurts. Joy. Somebody said joy. Said joy. I got joy. I got joy. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Just hold on and don't give up. Is on your way. Help us alone. Just a little while longer. Let me get ready to finish up here. Let me get ready to finish up here. Uh, weeping may endure. Amen. For, for now. But on what? Tomorrow. Amen. Tomorrow. Joy gonna come. Well, what if it don't come? You got to take both of them. What if it don't come? Well, you go back here. Yeah, I've been going through a long time. Hey, what did it say? I have fought a good fight. Oh, I have fought in the storm through tears, through hurts. I have fought a good fight. I have kept the faith when everything was going wrong. I kept the faith when nothing went right. I kept the faith when I prayed and looked like God didn't hear me. When I prayed, looked like an answer didn't come. I kept the faith. I kept holding on. I kept believing. I kept trusting God. I kept holding his hand. Say it. Say it. Say it. Hey. 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 Let me tell you something. Things don't always go your way. I know you're saved. But things don't always go your way. But keep the faith. Hey, and now I have finished my course. See, I finished my course. Oh, I didn't get the blessing. I didn't get this. But I finished my course. I in the battle. I still won. I still got the victory. I'm still coming out. I'm still going through with God. So what you got to sell the John? What you got to say, Lord Jonah? Now lies up for me a crown of righteousness. Look here. Y'all get this thing right. It don't always end on a happy step. 
Hey, glory to God. It don't always end the way you see it, think it ought to win. But you got to what? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on in there. Say it. Say it. I'm hanging. I'm hanging, but I'm holding. I'm hanging. I'm hanging, but I'm going through. I'm hanging. I'm hanging, but I'm fighting a good fella. Woo. Glory to God. I fought a good fight. Now let me close out of here. Let me close out of here. Ah. Woo. Preaching is hard. I just want to read this scripture. Glory to God. I'm, I'm, I'm going to let she start it off and go kind of slow. Sister, uh, yes. Sister, uh, sister, uh, yeah, sister God. Uh -huh. All right. Hebrew 11, 24, 28. You got to endure. Too many of y'all are giving up. By faith. Oh, 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 oh. By faith, you're waiting until I call you. Yeah. <laughs> hold, hold, hold. Gotcha. Too many of y'all are giving up. You all right? Too many of y'all are giving up. Too many of y'all giving up because yes. you, don't get the, you don't get the toys that you want. <laughs> you don't make God jump over, over balances to get to you. Me and Dr. Jones were down there in the Harris, down there in Memphis, and we went to Piccadilly. Is that the right name? Piccadillas. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> we went to the restaurant. <laughs> but, it, but it was Piccadillas and talked some good eating. And we went in there, and someone, I ain't gonna call no name, uh -huh. they saw us coming in, they were waiting on us. And when they saw me and Ella Harris come in and the other pastor that was, they told us, come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up, come on up. Now, here it is, about 20 people ahead of us. And she told me she didn't have the spot just for us. Whew. You can't do that. You can't do that. You can't jump no line because you got a friend in line. And you got another 20 folks waiting. I don't care how safe you're supposed to be. You ain't supposed to do that. I had to throw that in, praise the Lord. Because I know y'all run to say, oh, the Lord bless me. Look where I'm at. Uh -huh. God don't bless sin, praise the Lord. Teach. Amen. Amen. Mm. And so we went to Piccadilly's. We was in Piccadilly's. <laughs> and we was enjoying ourselves. Praise God. And God don't mind you enjoying yourself. God don't mind you being rich. And he sure don't mind you being poor. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. He said, the poor you have with y'all ways. But I want to read this to you. Mm -hmm. Get your mind fixed. Too many of our minds are not fixed. We're church goers, not church lovers. And if you don't love God's church, you don't love God. He said, upon this rock, I will do what? Build. Who church? We're not building Leroy's church. I'm not talking about Dr. Jones now. I'm talking about an old man. You ain't building his church. He's building God's church. And if you don't love the work of God, you don't deserve to be with him. You got to love God. How you got to love God? With your whole what? Heart. Your whole what? Soul. And your whole what? Mind. And if you don't love God like that, you don't love him. If you can't love God with everything you got in you, can you don't love God. Why you say that? Because God loved you so much he gave you everything he had. Read the scripture. All right, sister. That's why I want to talk a little bit. Oh, by, yeah. Go ahead. By faith. By Moses, faith. But Moses. Moses. When he was come to years. When he came to years. Refused to be called the sons, sons of Pharaoh's daughter. Read. Chose rather to suffer affliction. He chose rather. To suffer, to affliction, suffer affliction with, with the, the people, people of God, God than to enjoy 
the pleasure sin of sin for a, for a season. Whatever you enjoy is only for a season. Only for a season. Whatever you give it up for God is only for a season. Whatever you're turning loose is only for a season. It's only for a little while. 80 years, 90 years, that's no time. That's right. Not to compare to eternity. Hmm. Read, sister. Esteeming the reproach. Esteeming, esteeming the reproach. Of Christ's greater riches than the treasure you in You got to Egypt. learn you will be not denied. You ain't always going to be lifted up. Read. For he had respect unto the recompense Ooh. of the reward. Uh -huh. By faith, by he, faith, he forsook Egypt. He forsook Egypt, not, not fearing the wrath of, of the, the king, king for, for he, he endured. Oh, stop! As, he endured. Mm. Had everything, everything in name. He had it. Everything he wanted, he had it. But he thought about what God had, and, and looked at that more. Don't look at people around you and what they have because they may not have what you have. He endured it. He endured it. He endured it. He endured it. And seeing him who is invisible. Seeing him who is what? Is invisible. invisible. Do you see God? Yes. Do you see him? Do you see him? I was telling somebody, I'm closing out. I was telling somebody I was during the pandemic, right before the pandemic started, or uh, in the in the midst of it, I was going to Memphis, Tennessee. With this, this I had this in a vision. I was on my way to Memphis, Tennessee. Me and Reginald, and Reginald was driving, and we were going down Fifth or something. And all of a sudden, a dark cloud appeared out of nowhere, and the lights on my car went off. And I told Reginald, Reginald, get up on the hill. Because I can't see. And I can't drive when I can't see. Reginald took the car and pulled it on the, up on the hill there. And then he just disappeared. And I sat there in that car. Dark. And the voice of God spoke to me and said, Keep your eyes on the light up there. I was in oh, that town down where your mama used to live at. Cairo. You meant, what? Cairo. Cairo. I was in Cairo. And God told me, said, keep your eyes on that light where the cross is at. And I looked at it, dark. And I'm just looking at it. I'm just, and God said, keep your eyes there. Where were my eyes at? My eyes left Cairo and went all the way to Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. And God said, keep your eyes there. And as long as you keep your eyes there, you will be all right. How many years ago that was? Huh? Huh? It was, a, it was a long time ago, back what? Anyway, I was about how old? I was about 74, 76, 77. I was in my 70s. Mm -hmm. And I had things that I was fighting in my body during the pandemic. Yes. I didn't die. Oh, because right. God said, keep your eyes on Jesus. A lot of y'all are dying because you're not keeping your eyes on Jesus. And there's more than one way to die. That's it. You don't just have to die physically. You can die spiritually. And death is almost time is always a slow death. And some of y'all are slowly dying. Because you what? And got your eyes off Jesus. And here I am today, just turned 80. Huh? Just turned 80. You know, now y'all looking at me, think I'm, I'm, I'm some Romy, but the Bible told, told Adam he going to give him a help me, help me. Yes, he did. Come on. Come on, Bishop. A help me. You gotta, you, don't you have a help me? You gotta, you gotta help me. Oh, she right there. Oh, oh. Yes, he does. Candace. Hello. She just my help me there. She, she helped my brain. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. Nothing wrong with that, men. Come on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Help you think better when you spend too much money. Help you think better. Amen. Amen. Some of y'all are dying in here slowly. Slow death. And slow death, you're going to wake up one morning, you're going to lift your hands up, and you're going to feel that presence. You're going to feel that power. Whew. My job at 80 years old is to bring y'all back in track. That's what God has given me to do. Amen. Hallelujah. To make sure that you don't get off track. Make Hallelujah. sure you keep your eyes on him. God love you more than you love yourself. And there are some people saying, Little John, you're just talking now. No, God loved you before you love yourself. When you couldn't love yourself, God loved you. Who pulled you out? Who brought you out? And you didn't even know you out there in the gym juke joints. But God looked in that juke joint, stuck his hand in there, put his hand around your neck and drug you out of there. Come on, talk to me here. And you came out kicking. <laughs> but you're saved today. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, the church ain't dead yet. The church ain't dead yet. Oh! Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm here to praise him. I'm here to magnify him. I'm here to glorify him. I'm here to lift him up. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, say, Lord, touch me. Lord, touch me. Say, come on, say, Lord, touch me. Come on, say, Lord, touch me. Hey, come on. Come on, I need a touch. I need a touch. I need help. I need strength. I need the power of God. Woo. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, say glory, somebody. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Running, running, running. I can't tarry. Running, running, running. I can't tarry. Running, running, running. I can't tarry. Running up the King Highway. Come on. Running, running, running. I can't tarry. Running, running, running. I can't tear it, running, running, running. I can't tear it, running up the king highway. Come on, running, running, running. I can't tear it, running, running, running. I can't tear it, running, running, running. I can't tear it, running up the king highway. Put them hands there to go. All right, all right. All right. Uh, I got that. Some of y'all got it, but y'all didn't like that one too much. Amen. Some of us sing another. One. Amen. 99. 99 and a half won't do. Lord, I'm running, trying to make a hundred. 99 and a half won't do. Come on. Lord, I'm running, trying to make a hundred. 99 and a half won't do. Come on. Lord, I'm running, trying to make a hundred. 99. Just won't do. Just won't do. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Just won't do. Just won't do. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. 
99 and a half won't do. Come on. 99, 99, 99 and a half won't do. Won't do. Won't do. Won't do. 99 and a half won't do. Now do Not enough All right, All right. God bless you I'm through I'm through I'm through Amen Boy Boy What y'all trying to do 99 and a half That what y'all trying to do Amen Me and Dr. Jones We was going We was on with Memphis And we had a good trip And why it was When we got to Memphis We had a a jam, a car jam like we never saw in my lifetime. Everywhere we turned, every highway he turned on, we couldn't get off. Just blocked us in. We just blocked in. We was going. He took us. I'm going to let you on. I'm going to let El John tell you how long it took us to do it, huh? It took us three extra hours just going around and around in loops. And we couldn't get out. Oh, that car jam. Two cars had flipped over. Nothing had flipped over. And everywhere we went, we couldn't get off that expressway. Because what? It had a jam. And we just sat there. We just rolled around and sat there. And the thing wasn't working. Just jam. But when we did get unjammed, amen, we was unjammed. And we went, phew, praise the Lord. Well, John, what are you saying? When I was saying when I was singing that song 99 and a half, y'all brought my mind back to the highway that I was on and wasn't nothing moving. <laughs> they didn't get that, did they? Who am I going to get this mic to? Huh? Come on, who get the mic? All right. The doors of the church is open. Who want to join? Who want to be joined? Who that? Uh, okay. Well, he, uh, Brother uh, Windows, uh, Quinto? Quinto, Father. <laughs> want to become a member of our church? Come on. He had told me that about a month ago. He wanted to become a member of our church. Amen. So really, so as of today, amen, we're officially taking him in. Here he come. Praise the Lord. Let's say amen for him. Amen. Come on, give him a hand. Give him a hand. Give him a hand. Amen. Let's say amen for him. Come on, come on. Come on up here, praise the Lord. Come on, stand by your dad. Amen. Turn around. You can turn around, face the crowd. Turn around. Amen. First, I'd like to give honor to God, to our bishop, Bless you. to all the members of New Life. This ain't my first church, but it's the church that I've chosen for me now. Uh, I've been coming for the last couple of months, and I've enjoyed each service that I've been here. I've enjoyed the uh, membership, the elders and the minister, my son. You know, uh, I'm just glad to be here. You know, I'm glad God has chosen me to come back. You know, I was in the world for a lot of long time. I did a lot, of, lot, a lot of sin. I was a good sinner. Let me say it like that. I wasn't, no, I wasn't no bad son of this. But I do know that unto God is my salvation. Without him, I have nothing. Without him, I can do nothing. Without him, I can go no place. So I'm just thankful for being I was waiting on you, Bishop, to open the doors of the church. And every week I came, I was hoping you'd open the doors of the church. And until you opened them this morning, I didn't join. 
But I'm glad to be a me new member of New Life Church of God in Christ. Thank Amen. you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, brother. Come on, come on. Come on. Give him a hand there, praise the Lord. <laughs> Come on. Come on, amen. Let's receive him. Let's say amen for him. Come on. Praise the Lord. This is Deacon Westbrook. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Come on, give him a hand. Give him a hand. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Okay, all right. Okay, my brother. Welcome to the New Life Pentecostal Church. Of God in Christ. Amen. We still got to talk. Amen. All right. All right. Thank you. Amen. Let's say amen for him. Come on, my brethren. God, in the name of Jesus, we need to look up on Deacon Westbrook. We are praying that thou would touch his knee, his body. God, touch his body. Only you, God, can intervene now. Only you can make him whole. Touch his mind. Give him strength. Strength, God. He echoes strength in his body. God, this your servant. Have served you for a long time. Now, God, we pray that thou will heal. Heal his body. God, you said by your stripes we are healed. God, right now we decree healing in this body. In the name of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God. Touch his legs, touch his arms, touch his mind, God. In your name we're praying. Wholeness, wholeness. Hey, God, we believe you. We stand on your word. We stand on your word, God. Raise him up for your glory. Raise him up, God. Raise him up, God. Ah, you still heal. You still deliver. You still make whole. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen, God. Thank you, Lord. Look on his wife. Look on his wife. Look on his wife. We're praying that you will touch her. Touch her, Lord. Touch her, touch her, touch her. Touch and give her strength. You see the labor that she's doing for her husband, God. Oh, God. Strengthen her. Strengthen her. Lift her up in the midst of the battle that she is in. You see God so tired, tired. But we're praying for strength right now. Strength right now. Strength right now. Strengthen her arms, strengthen her leg, strengthen her mind. Oh God, stand with them. Stand with them. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Woo, glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's say amen. Thank God. Sister and brother Wake's book, Leah, read across the street for me for years. Glory to God. Now, when it comes to membership of a church, I don't run and just pull folks in the church. I think you ought to come to church, sit there and look at the church, study the church. Amen. And, you know, if you lack that atmosphere, if you lack this, but you just don't go to church first time you get there in June. Amen. But you sit there and you watch it. Watch the preacher. One Sunday he may preach good, next Sunday he may preach bad. Praise the Lord. So you only don't get a good Sunday and miss it with a bad Sunday. Amen. So you see his good Sundays and his bad Sunday, then you check him out. So I give him a C. He all right. Amen. All right. Amen. 
But we love to have members of our church, but I just believe in letting folks wait to see how they like the church and do the church really fit them. Amen? So that's why I always, every Sunday, come on, going to church. No, no, no. When you get, when you, when you, you you're the tired of them, tell me how you feel. Praise the Lord. <laughs> amen. The giving them, tell me how you feel. So you're coming because you love the church? Thank God for you. But amen. But I tell folks, come on. Come on. And, and if you got people that are looking for a church and don't have a church, they can come in and talk to me and they can stay here till they find a church. Amen. That's just where I am. You, wonder, you ain't got no church. You want to need somewhere to go to find somewhere? Just come on. Come on. Amen. Come on, just come on, come on in here. Not long as you ain't doing no dirty stuff now. Praise the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? But you're welcome to come here. You're welcome to come here to be a part of a new life until you find the church that you're looking for. Everybody have a church that fits them. And that's what you want to find, a church that fits you. Every church don't fit everybody. But you got to find a church that fits you. Amen? All right? God bless you. Huh? Amen. <laughs> What happened? This is Deacon Golf. <laughs> Who? What did I say? But you, you, but here you're coming by that name. Come on over here, Golf. <laughs> Come on over here. Come on over here. Huh? You who? What's your first name? Ed. Ed. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie, right? Nothing like him, nothing like him. <laughs> this is a time uh, that everyone can be happy this happening. Everyone want everyone to stand. Did you receive the word on today? Yeah. First of all, hello, new life. Yeah. We're glad to see you. And now I'm going to do something we all want to do. We want to go home. But as we go home, we want you to take the service. We want to take the songs and everything you enjoyed on the day. They'll take it with you all week long. Let's not wait just to, to next week to do it. But we want you to go home. But we want you to come back. If you don't come back, you're going to miss something. So this we say, Lord, we thank you for those who came out on today, Lord. We thank you for the songs that were, that were sang on today. We thank you for the word of God that was given on today, Lord. Lord, we thank each one that had an opportunity to hear what thus says the Lord. We just want you to continue to bless us, hold us up as we leave this place, but never from your sight. We ask you to continue to let us be with you. This we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen, the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature, out with the old, in with the new. So come receive your new life, because Jesus is here. Let's go. Come on in. When new life begins, you're welcome. We welcome you. You're welcome here. Come on in. When new life begins, you're welcome. Come on, come on. Come on in. Come on in. When new life begins, new life you're is welcome. here. You're welcome here. Come on in. There's healing. When new life There's begins. freedom. There's deliverance in this place. Come join us. When you life begins, you're welcome. You're welcome here. Come on in. A brand new start. When you life begins, fresh beginnings. It's all yours. All you have to do is enjoy this come. Let's tell them again. Welcome to your new life.